Hi everyone, it's Wendy Lee. Welcome back. Today I have a collective haul for you. Some of these items, I don't remember where I got them, but I will, if I can find links for them, I will link them for you. Um, this was stuff before I had gone on vacation in February. A lot of it is from then. Some of it's new. I just threw it all in together because um, I want to put it away, but I also want to show it to you. So, um, like I said, I'll try to link as much of it as I can below. There's some really fun and cute items in here, so let's get started. Okay, so first up, I wanted to replenish a couple of collections from last year that I used during the summertime from Echo Park. Um, I got the chipboard phrases from, this is a slice of summer collection. This is such a cute summer collection, you guys. Look how it says... We all scream for ice cream, have fun, chill out, relax, king of the grill, um, summer is in the air, sunshine, just a really, really cute collection. Um, and then, did I get, oh yeah, so I got two of the that one and then two of this one. So I love this one, it's got the lemonade stand, it's got the red truck with the flowers, I love the little trailer, oh my gosh, how cute, look at the bathing suits hanging up on the clothesline. All the little critters, just so cute. Love that lemonade stand with the little bird. So fun. So I got two of the chipboard stickers, <clears throat> excuse me, of each. Then I also got two of the um, die cut cardstock pieces. So this is what that looks like. Look at the little ice cream, like, what's it called? Like a, a bicycle pulling an ice cream stand. And then here's what those look like. Then also I had used up a lot of my um, 4th of July ephemera. So I got two more of, this one's called, this one's by Lori Whitlock. And I think it's just called America. Pretty sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, America ephemera is what it's called. And here's what it looks like on the back. And I just got two of these. So there's that. Uh, like I said, I'll link it below. I might have got it straight from the Echo Park website, um, but we'll see. Uh, the next thing I got is from Amazon, and I got some pink vellum paper. I keep seeing, is it Pink Strawberries is the name of her channel? Is it her? It might be her. I keep seeing her using pink vellum, and I'm like, I need some pink vellum in my life. So the best place I found it was at um Amazon and here's what it looks like and in the pack it looks darker but of course when you pull it out it's lighter so I got that and I know I can link that for you below if you're interested it's not easy to find pink vellum paper you guys like I've been looking for it in like Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby and I can't I've, I've never found it so far so maybe it's just out or they don't carry it Okay, next I got this. So I got this at Valentine's Day, but I didn't end up crafting with it. Um, so this is a Dymo embossing label maker. And I've seen people do this, multiple people do this, where they'll put a sentiment on these and then they'll put it on their, like, their embellishments. And I thought that was such a cute idea. So I got one of these. This is the label maker. And then it comes with black and red um, embossing tape and then I also got I got this box right here and it came with a bunch of colors so there's like yellow and blue and black and then there's also gold silver green and red I want to try to find some pink um, but we'll see so I got that I, I'm pretty sure I can link both of those for you if you're interested. And I don't think these were very expensive if I remember correctly. So yeah, I got that. And then let's see. What is in this bag <laughs> of randomness? Um, oh, I got some bobbins for my sewing machine. These ones had good reviews online at um, Amazon. I can link that for you. And then I also got some other things from Amazon, which I was having trouble finding these in like Walmart and Hobby Lobby. So I just ended up buying it from 
Amazon. So this is a point turner and seam creaser. So like once you're done sewing and you flip your garment inside out, you can poke this in the corners of it to um, get all the fabric like lined up, you know. And I also got a seam ripper. And I also got this loop turner, which it kind of does a similar thing as this. But it really helps if like you're doing like a dress or a pair of pants, like a bigger garment where there's a lot of um, a lot of fabric. I'm sure it does other things, but I'm new to sewing like garments and stuff. So I don't know. But um, yeah. And let's see, I got some really cute dyes that I want to show you guys. Um, oh, I got these. Okay, so always opening mail, as you know, because I'm always doing hauls. And I always run out of like, uh, in another haul, I like told you guys I can never find my scissors. I can also never find my box cutters. And I really don't need a big, huge box cutter for opening like mail that I get because I don't get like huge boxes but I found these which I thought were so cool and they were so inexpensive there's four of them but I already took one out but they're just these little um let me see where 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 it opens out so I don't cut myself yeah there's just these little teeny tiny box cutters and I was like oh my gosh I think the other one's pink and I've already put it away but um yeah I wanted to share those in case you're looking for something like that those are really going to come in handy. Put one downstairs for my husband, one up here for me, and then we'll have a couple of extras. Um, I got these at Walmart. Um, how do you say no to Peeps string lights, even if they are $6.99? Oh my gosh, how cute. Had to get them. I don't have two AA batteries or else I'd light them up and show them to you. And then I got these, which I thought were kind of interesting. They're molds and I love the Peeps bunnies. And so I, and I also like to work with polymer clay. So I thought I would try this out and see how it does with polymer clay. So I found that in the Easter section. Hopefully this video go, goes up before then, but I don't know because I have filmed so many videos today. Um, another thing I got from, I think this was from Amazon, I'm not sure, um, but I will link it below in case you're looking for something like this. So I got a brother gathering foot for doing ruffles. I wanna try to make ruffle trim. So I have a brother sewing machine. This is the brother SA120 gathering foot. This is supposed to work with my machine. So wanted to share that with you because that wasn't easy to find. So I will definitely link that for you. Um, another thing I got, don't remember where I got this, but I will link it for you below, is the Crocodile Corner Chomper. I broke down and bought it, guys. So I have this little one from, what is this one? This one's from We Are Memory Keepers, and it does a bunch of, like, three different styles. But I thought I wanted, you know, I was like, I want to try this one out, because this one just seems so much easier. So we'll see. We shall see. And, oh, for Valentine's Day, I bought these, um, but I didn't end up using them because we left to go traveling. So I got some pink Nouveau drops from Tonic Studios. I actually ordered these from the website, and I got three different colors, and I'll tell you which ones they are. Let's see. This one is Carnation Pink. I love this hot pink. I love, oh, this one glows in the dark. This one is called Shocking Pink. I didn't know Nuvo had glow in the dark. This is, what is this one? Bubblegum Blush. So super cute, excited to try those. Um, oh, I also placed an online order with Urban Gems. And I got these cute little charms. So these are like little white flower charms and little dragonflies. So I thought those were so cute. And I got this cute little flower pot. This was the whole reason why I went there was because of this. I saw somebody posted in their video, maybe Poochie. I can't remember, guys. I'm sorry. Probably Poochie because 
she's the person I watch that talks the most about Urban Gems. So I'm, I want to say it was Poochie. And then um, I got a free gift. And oh my gosh, Tara gave me cactus stickers. I don't know if she knows I love cactus. I don't know, know if she watches my videos. I know she's subscribed, but I don't know if she has time to watch my videos. But I'm like, girl, you couldn't have sent me better stickers than that. Um, I also got this really pretty yellow paint at Walmart. This one's called Dandelion Yellow. And I got these from Michaels. These super cute little bunny beads. And let's see. I wanted to share some dyes with you guys that I got from HSN and where else? HSN, Amazon, a few places. So I got these at Valentine's Day or for Valentine's Day. But like I said, I never ended up using my Valentine's stuff. But that's okay. I have it for next year. And... You know, heart stuff you can use all the time, right? So I got these, and I believe these, um, these, I think they cut out the words. So you've got like a, this backing piece, and then like this one says sweet, so you would put it on top, and then the back paper would poke through. So it would be really pretty if you did like a gold in the back, and then put the sweet on top in like a pink or something. And then this one says hug me, but it actually goes that way. And I like how it has the stitching. So that one says IOU. So that was cute. So I shall link those for you. And then this was free from somewhere. From one of the orders that I did um, on Amazon. It just came in there and I didn't order it. So, okay, let's see. i got to open these. I also got this for Valentine's Day. Super cute. I love these. Aren't these so cute? These little arrows with the hearts and the feathers. So I got that. And let's see what else. Oh, I got the Hershey's Kisses, you guys. I've seen so many people play with these over the last year. I think these would be really cute at like Christmas time too. Or if you're just doing like kind of like a sweet treats type thing. But um yeah they make Hershey kisses so cute and look how it has like the little lips you can make them into shakers if you want to and look how it does the embossing so I got that I got a really cute um film strip with hearts so that'll be linked for you below I got, trying to open all these, I got this um, really cute apron die. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Love that. And look how you can put like the little um, frilly part on it. I think you can make this into a shaker, I'm pretty sure. thought that was really cute. Whoops. And... Oh, you guys, I got this really, really cute um, tea set from HSN, which I'm so, so, so excited about. I can't wait to play with this. So it's an embossing and cutting set. So look how it cuts out the teapot. I'm going to show you pictures because they always send pictures. And it's got like the little like food tray and then it's got like a teacup and a spoon. And then it's got like, I don't know if that's like a doily or like a plate I'm gonna have to see and then it's got two teacups and then this is called tea party cut and emboss I don't know what this is maybe a napkin but I'm sure we'll see in the picture so let's look at the picture really quick okay so look how cute that is see how it's got like the food tray and the teapot and the spoon oh yeah look at I think it's like a napkin so cute right look how cute that is so i can't wait to play with that and do that with my tea set then i was watching lori for craft crafting for fun and she's so sweet i just love her so much um she i love watching her videos like she literally doesn't even know me but i messaged her because she had made 
she had done a project share and she had the most beautiful swans. And I was like, Lori, can you please tell me where you got those swan dies? And of course she did because she's just such a sweetheart. So she got them from Spellbinders and oh my gosh, they make the prettiest swans, you guys. And I love that the swans come together because usually like with swan dies that I have, it's usually just one swan. I love swans, by the way. <laughs> it's usually just one swan, but I love how these two come together and have like a... um form like a heart. I love how there's like embossing on the wings and the body and how there's an under piece there. So there's more detail. Look at those sweet little flowers that come with it. I just thought this was so pretty. I, I will link this for you guys below. Um, where I got, where I found it for the, mo for the least amount, you know, the most affordable. And then I wish I could remember where I found this. It's been so long. Um, I don't remember who showed this on their video, but um, this is a really cute box and it's by Spellbinders and it's called the Charming Cottage Box and I'll show you what it looks like on the back. Now, it's showing a Christmas um, theme, but on the website it has a bunch of different ideas where you can make this like Halloween. You can just do all sorts of different cute little decorations for it and um you know like decorate the outside and make it black for Halloween and you can do Easter and all that kind of stuff but I thought it would be so cute to package up excuse me like Happy Mellow you know and do a theme with it so super cute I got that and that's gonna be it guys that's gonna be it for my haul I hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon take care bye